Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys another top five city of tweaks that you guys can download and use on your iDevice and is compatible with the latest iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak. Now these top five tweaks are a mixture of both paid and free. So I'll tell you guys which ones are paid and which ones are free according to which tweak. So with that being said, let's get straight into this video. Alright, so the first tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is a tweak called BioProtect. Now, basically what this tweak is, is it allows you to lock and unlock your apps with your thumbprint. So, for example, if I needed to unlock Snapchat, if I tap on it, it would allow me to unlock it via my thumbprint. So, if I do that right now, it'll give me a check mark and I will be allowed to enter into the app. Now this also works with folders as well. So in the top left hand corner right here, I have interwebs. Now if I need to unlock that, I would also need to enter my touch ID in order to see what is in my interwebs folder. This is really good. So if you're giving your phone to someone and they do not have the thumbprint on their phone, then they will not be able to unlock certain apps that you choose. So the next week I'm going to be showing you guys is free and it's called type status 2 iOS 7 through 9. Now, what this tweak is, is basically what it means. So type status gives you the ability to see a little notification regarding the person that has iMessage. So for example, if I start typing on my laptop right now, you will also see in the top hand corner of my phone, you will get a little notification saying that I will be typing. Now, I just noticed that since I am recording from my laptop, it will not display since it is allowing the spoof, my time and my carrier and my percentage of my battery. So I'm gonna assume that this is the effect that's not working in order to show what I'm typing on my laptop. But basically type status two allows you to see which contact via iMessage is texting you right now. So you'll get a notification knowing that that person is texting you at that moment before you even get the text message. So the third tweak I'm gonna be showing you guys is now free and it's called nude keys. Now basically what it is, is it allows you to customize your keyboard on your iPhone or iDevice. So for example, right here, here is my setup. It looks like a little tan up top with a little blue on the bottom. I just threw this together for this video. And it's really nice because you could customize it to whatever you guys like. So if we go into the settings of new keys, you guys can go and go ahead and copy my setup if you guys like it, or you can choose different kinds of colors depending on what your guys' liking is. So that's it for nude keys. All right, so the fourth tweak I'm gonna be showing you guys is called Nuntius or Nuntius. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but it is on Cydia and it is paid. Now, what this tweak does is it allows you to customize your iMessage in order to fit your liking and how you guys want to see what the text field is and everything else. So I'll just show you guys as a demonstration. On my messages app, you guys can see that it is pretty customized. I do have my side showing as purple and the recipient side showing as the normal white or tan look to it. Now, as you guys can also see that the background is my actual wallpaper that I'm using on my springboard and you guys can customize anything you guys like to your specific liking. And finally, the last tweak I'm gonna be showing you guys is by a great developer called Xiphon or Ziphon. I'm sorry, I do not know how to pronounce it. I forgot how to. And his tweak is called Tiny Player Pro. Now, you guys need to support him because this is the best tweak that I've been using for a while since I do not like using the control center and it makes the feel of controlling your music very, very nice. So I have my activated gesture for having it to display the GUI of the tweak with the plus and minus volume buttons. So from here, you get your little new customizing toggle for how your music is played. So let me just play a song real quick. All right, so from here, you guys can see that it does show the song title on top and the artist on the bottom, as well as the artwork on the very right hand side. Now, this is very nice because you can just double tap onto the whole entire tweak and it will change the track. Now, if you wanna go backwards, you would have to triple tap onto it in order to either reset the song or to go backwards. Now you can also pinch to zoom in order to see how big you guys want to see the GUI or you could shrink it all the way low in order to make it small or you can move it around wherever you guys want. Now this is a really, really great tweak and you guys can customize it as well to your liking because there is a ton of settings in the settings panel. So let me just hide it real quick and let's go back into Tiny Player Pro settings. So you guys can choose which kind of style you guys want as well as what I said earlier in customizing all the preferences that it allows you to do. Now I really recommend you guys supporting the developer and paying for this tweak instead of pirating it because there is a lot of work put into this tweak and it is really nice to have. 
So that's going to wrap up this video. Go ahead and leave a like down below if you guys like these videos and want to see another top five tweaks that are available for your jailbroken device. Also, go ahead and don't forget to subscribe to this channel in order to be informed on any of these new videos, as well as tweak reviews and theme reviews once they are released by devs. Also, go ahead and follow me on my Twitter page and my Facebook page to be informed on anything jailbreak related. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video of whatever I make. This is Elite Apple Hacks signing out.